Hello everyone, welcome to this new video on Matplotlib series. My name is Tanya and today in this video we will learn how we can install Matplotlib in our system. And for the current instance I will show you how to install Matplotlib on Windows 10. So don't worry if you are using some other operating system. We have an article related to this topic in which we have covered the installation of Matplotlib on different operating system. The link of that article will be available in the description box. So let's get started. First of all, we have to install Python in our system. If you have not installed Python in your system till now, don't worry, we have a video related to installation of a Python on Windows and other operating system also. The link of these video will be also available in the description box. Basically, there are two ways to install Matplotlib on Windows 10. The first one is installation of a Matplotlib by creating a virtual environment and the next is installation of a Matplotlib using a pip command. So now, firstly we will discuss the first way to install Matplotlib that is by creating a virtual environment. As Matplotlib is Python based framework, so it is a Python module. These are the steps used to install Matplotlib by creating a virtual environment. Then firstly we have to install Python in our system. If you have already installed then it's good and if you don't pause this video and install the Python first. After installing Python the next important step is the creation of a virtual environment. So next we have to understand how we can create a virtual environment and activate it and in the last we will use this virtual environment for the installation of a matplotlib. Now let's understand how we can create a virtual environment. For this I will open a command prompt. Now I will move to the location where I want to create a virtual environment. So I want to create it in a e directory. So here I type e. Now I will move to the location where I want to create an environment. We can easily create a virtual environment by using a python only. So there is a by default module in python whose name is venv. So we can use it to create a virtual environment. For this we have to execute a command and the command is already available in the article. You can easily move to the article from the given link in the description box. So once you open the link available in the description box, the article will look something like this. And from the table of content, we have to move how to install matplotlib in Windows 10. So here is the table of content. You can easily move where you want to. And from this we have to copy this command which is python hyphen m venv then the directory path or we can say it the environment claim name. So let's copy it. So there we are using the venv python module to create a virtual environment and we have to provide the name of a virtual environment after this. So I am creating the virtual environment with the name mypython-venv. So here I write the name of my virtual environment. So once the command executed successfully, we can easily check whether the virtual environment is created or not. For this, we have to use the dir command. Or we can say that the directory command. Now here you see that the file exists or we can say that the environment exists with the name mypython-env. So which I created earlier. Now let understand how we can activate it. Now to activate a virtual environment we have to run activate.bat file. And this file is available in the script directory within our virtual environment 
for this we have to simply write a command which is uh, firstly we have to write the name of our virtual environment which we created earlier so my virtual environment name is my python hyphen env then we have to use the slash then i write the scripts then i write activate dot bat you can easily get this command from the article also after writing the command successfully hit the enter key so here you see that the name is appearing corresponding to our command prompt which means that our virtual environment will be activated successfully now we can easily install matplotlib using a pip module for this run the following command which is python hyphen m pip install matplotlib so after writing the command once again hit enter key this command will install the latest release of the matplotlib so as you see the installation process is start so wait for some time till the installation completed it takes some some times to install so wait till it install completely so now you see that the matplotlib is successfully installed till now we have learned how to install matplotlib by creating a virtual environment now we will learn the next step or the next way to install a matplotlib so the next way is the installation of a matplotlib using a pip command for this we have to follow some steps the steps is like that firstly we have to install python then we have to install a pip and then we have to install a matplotlib now let's see the execution first open the command prompt then to check whether the python is installed successfully or not Check the Python version by using the command Python space hyphen hyphen version. If you get the version successfully, it means that the Python is installed. Now we need to install pip. So in some system, the pip module is already installed by default, and in some not to check whether the pip is installed or not we have to check its version also for this we have to write this command which is python space hyphen m space pip space hyphen hyphen version then hit enter so here you see that we also get the version of a pip it means the pip is also installed so after this we install the matplotlib module for this we have to write the command python space hyphen m space pip space install space matplotlib so here you see that the installation started so it takes some time to install so here you see that the matplotlib is successfully installed it only gives the warning which is that the pip is not in upgraded version if you want to upgrade it you can use this command to upgrade the pip otherwise there is no issue in matplotlib installation in this video we have learned the two ways to install matplotlib the first one is by creating a virtual environment and the next is by using a pip command if if you think this video help you please like share and subscribe our youtube channel